Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see from the luggage to the side of me, we are off to the airport. Um, so this is my plane outfit, just something comfortable, easy. I can move and not have to worry about it. Um, all from Shein. And I'm just taking a carry-on this trip and my backpack. So let's go. At some point, I'm going to open all that stuff. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do? If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world but I ain't seen myself another girl like you. This ring here represents my heart. But there's just one thing I need from you. Say I do. Because I can see your soul. Alright guys, so it is the next day. And we just ordered DoorDash from Hug Fins. And it's really good. And they so far haven't forgotten anything. Which is a DoorDash. Man. <laughs> you DoorDash, you know they can go for you something. Always. And they gave us a bag full of condiments. Just butter and syrup and forks oh, and spoons and butter. some of everything. So I won't be able to. Alright guys. So um I just got up. Well I got up, showed you guys the breakfast, got in the shower, washed my hair, fell back asleep, took a nap because that's just how tired I am. And now we are about to get some Starbucks. Um, I'm now realizing that I haven't even said where we are. We are in Chicago. As you probably know by whatever thumbnail there is, we are in Chicago. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm still tired. I still need coffee. But, you have any yesterday? <clears throat> no coffee yesterday. We're just going off of vibes because we hadn't even eaten. Literally... We hadn't eaten since about 4 o'clock Los Angeles time. And then we took a red eye. And the airport O'Hare is like so huge. It took us forever to find where to go for the rental. By the time we got the rental and got to the hotel, it was like 3.30. Then we had to order food. The woman took it to the wrong place. So we had to... I had to get my money back and reorder it. And then... So we didn't eat till like 4.30, almost 5 a.m. I didn't go to sleep till close to 5.36. So, but tomorrow, what'd you say? the rental car situation. What'd you say, mama? Didn't get up to 12. Didn't get up to 12, yeah. The rental car oh, how could yeah. I forget? Blackie. Oh my gosh, guys. I couldn't even pull out and film yesterday because I was just so exhausted. There was so much going on. I don't want to leave my phone. We got a rental. Avis is open 24 hours. We get there because we've rented a standard size because we didn't want the drama of the mid-sized Jeep that we had down south. And they're like, oh, all we have is electric cars or a pickup. Nothing we can do with a pickup. So we have this electric car. I haven't driven it, only my sister has. She complains the entire time. What don't you like about it? I just don't like that it stops when you like gas cars roll a little bit when you it's just literally stop it stops as soon as you take your foot off the gas so yeah. I don't I just don't like it it just feels fake it was 86 percent yeah it wasn't even fully charged when we got it and it had a leftover coffee cup <laughs> it sure in did. here it had the nerve to have this sign 
talking about it's been inspected <laughs> and all this is clean. Like I didn't see that. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, yeah you're right. Maybe the inspector left his coffee. <laughs> that is that's terrible. But, yeah. but I was telling my sister that one time we went to Gas Lamp for my birthday and we rented a car from Avis and it literally from the ceiling to the floor all the seats were covered in dog hair and we didn't realize it until we got on the freeway to San Diego and we let the windows down and the dog hair just started going everywhere we were so mad and when we got back we like blew up on them I forget what did they do for us yeah. I, it wasn't enough because I remember being like we'll never use Avis again so when this yeah. ended up this is my this is literally the first time we've used them and it was just because we landed after midnight and they're the only twenty four hour rental facility at O'Hare. Yeah, mm. Yeah, so I don't know what else we're gonna do today because I just feel like that whole ordeal has just sucked the energy out of everybody and my sister's event is tomorrow, so that's the main reason why we're here so trying to save energy for that which of course i will take you guys any final words guys i need a charging station <laughs> yeah we definitely need a charging station they gave us the crown 85 what is it on now 72 we didn't even go anywhere and we had to drive like 30 miles 30 my 30 minute drive Okay, 30 miles, and it went from 85 to 72. 86. 86, to be exact, <laughs> mother. To 72. Mm. Hey, is that the Jeep we had? Girl, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even a Jeep. <laughs> the Jeep we had. I hope I, I hope I made an accurate depiction in that vlog. I can't even remember at this point, but it's literally the vlog I'm editing the now. The sedan was bigger. It's sedan would definitely be bigger than the Jeep that we had for uh, Mississippi and, you know, and you know, you know Memphis. Right. But um, let me see. What am I going to get? Me? I mm -hmm. I'm trying not to get. Oh, what is that? Let me see. Add matcha cream cold foam to any ice drink. Mm. I wonder hmm, what matcha cold cream is he, he get so wow easy? what happened there? i don't know <laughs> I, I had so many questions i had so many questions they weren't coming do you think it's sweet i don't know it depends on the drink i think i'm gonna get a regular a hot chai your size um grinded but i want some cold foam on it you want cold foam on a hot drink? i want to try it yep i'm gonna just tell me you want matcha foam because that's what that is okay what did you want, Mama? Because she talked all over me. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, I'm gonna start my tea for today. Okay. Hi, can I get taller and grind it? Bye. She'll have only tea. Oh, is this like a grocery store? All right, y'all. So my sister shamed me. She's like, you ain't gonna even show the people your drink. You they accidentally know. made it cold, <laughs> but it's matcha foam on top of a chai tea latte. Oh my gosh. Is it is so good. This might be my new drink. My sister was so inspired by what I got that she got a matcha with cold foam. Amber, I get this drink <laughs> all the time. <laughs> oh, Bailey got a pastry. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. I'll see you when we get get back to the hotel. I'll show you guys the hotel, actually. I will. Oh, that's nuts, man. That's nuts, man. 21, can you do something for me? 21. Can you hit a little rich flex for me? Then 21, can you do something for me? Drop some bars to my pussy ex for me. Then 21, can you do something for me? Can you talk to the ops next for me? Then 21, do your thing, 21, do your thing. Do your thing, 21. Yellow diamonds in the watch. This shit costs a lot. Never send a die. That's how you get shot. I DM in vanish mode, I do that shit a lot. Took her panties off and this thicker than a plot. All my S's ain't nothing, no hoes busted. Like my hoes ain't red man, they ass. White man, they ass. White man, they ass. White man, they ass.
We are reaching a new year. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my favorite time of the day. It's raffle time. Somebody say raffle time. Yeah, it's a chance of don't call me on Christmas Eve. Call your dad. Call your uncle. Don't call me. Always in my ear, yo. Hey, hey, hey. That's how she heard her foot. That's how she heard her foot. Hey. Alright guys, so we are back from the book event and starving. It's like six something. We have a reservation. Six forty-five. Um at a restaurant gin something. I forgot the name of it already, but we're just getting young bay, scooping her and my mom and then we're gonna head to the restaurant so see you there so i know i was telling you guys about to rent the rental the electric car this is actually it and it stays on until you like press lock so let's see you see now it's off This is a blackberry reader, lobster stuffed mushroom, and Rockefeller oyster. We are back home. Um, I don't even know where I last left off with you guys. Um, we had a midday flight. We got back to Los Angeles about seven o'clock. Um, by the time we got the luggage, the Uber and everything and got to my mom's where I am parked, <clears throat> it was about nine o'clock. So I just ate dinner here and I wasn't feeling well. So I decided to stay here. 
Um, my sinuses started messing with me really bad, like the last day that I was there, and it's just like snowballed. So right now I'm kind of like on a Claritin steroid nose cycle. So that's why I haven't picked up the camera to like update you guys or whatever. So, um, but yeah, I'm actually back home, but I'm only going to be home for two more days. Let's say Thursday, three more days. And then I'm going to Vegas. That book event was really nice like these people really take their time to put together really nice events um this one was thrown by uh jessica watkins i don't know if you guys are familiar with her if you read urban fiction she's a pretty well established author um her books have been turned into movies even um so yeah um i will put the information um down at the bottom or whatever um i did I didn't get a chance to shop like I wanted to because, man, those people came to buy books. Okay, my sister almost completely sold out. There were a couple of people who I were looking to buy books from, but by the time I got through helping my sister and, and got around to shopping for myself, a lot of the stuff was gone. Um, yeah, so I did get one book, Lone Wolf by Casey Mills. I have the ebook, but I wanted the paperback. Because you guys know I like to switch back and forth. But um, two of the books I wanted were completely sold out. One of the authors uh, said to hit her up and she'll make sure she sends me a signed copy. So that was sweet. Um, I'm really excited for that book too. I'll show you guys once I get it. Um, but when I came back, child, my hair is just a fuzzy, nappy mess. And I'm just sounding congested and horrible. But um uh, when I got back here, some of the books I had ordered came. So I just want to show you guys. I got Yellow Face. This cover is slightly different. It's the Fairy Loot Edition. So it comes with a different cover. And um, yeah, it's so cute. Um, <clears throat> I decided to tell you about the books when I actually read them more so. Um, because I don't like reading the synopsis, so it's easier for me just to kind of give you like a quick summary or whatever after I've read it. But Credence, you guys have heard me talk about one in this book, it finally came. Um, and then of course, I had to partake of the classic by Stephen King, it's called Fairy Tale. But y'all, they sent me a damaged book. This is from Barnes and Nobles. It was like a pee, this is like peeling off of here. And this is like this. So they're sending me a brand new one. They just sent me an email and it'll be here Friday. I leave Saturday so I'll be able to get it like right before I head out. Um, by the time you guys see this video, I should honestly <coughs> either be in Vegas or coming back from Vegas. <coughs> oh, man, so yeah. I'm trying to doctor myself up get myself right um like I said, i've been on six planes so far i've been on a total of like five road trips maybe even six road trips and i've stayed at four or five hotels just from july and we haven't even hit the end of August. The weather was great. Amazing. The event was good. Um, next time I will try to um, post about the events earlier. If I'm not backed up in my vlogs. At least on my community tab. That way if you guys are ever in the area. And you want to go to one of the book events you can. I've already been up. I made breakfast. Um, I finished reading um, Akatar, um, a, a Court of Thorns and Roses. Um, it's really good. I gave it a five star. And um, yeah. So let's just go ahead and get our day started because today is Thursday and I leave Saturday for this concert. And look at me.
Just look at me. I have to go to the nail shop. We have we have things to do. All right, guys. It's time for me to do this mop. Oh, I've just been. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> An air slump. Oh, I haven't felt like getting it done because I can't commit to a hairstyle that I want, but I'm tired of doing my hair every day. So I'm just like in this slump of what to do with it. So um, I washed it in Chicago at the hotel. And that was some super, super drying shampoo. But I had brought my own shampoo, but decided to use the hotel shampoo like no black person ever. And yeah, my hair was clean, but it's dry now. So I may end up washing it tonight just because... It just, it's screaming that it needs some moisturization. Oh my gosh, my hair is so poofy and thick right now. Because of the way I let it air dry in Chicago. All right. Child, why did Chicago O'Hare make me throw out my flamingo? Now, I have been traveling this whole time with my flamingo in my toiletry case inside my carry-on. This whole time. Why I go to come back to L.A. and they confiscated my flamingo. And it was not over the size the actual bottle, yes, but the amount of contents in it, no. And they were like, oh, the bottle's not see-through. So, uh, we can't tell. So, now your girl got no lotion because I had two aerosol sprays of Flamingo and one little, like, you know, body cream one. The body cream one ran out. And I was like, oh, I'll get more when I come home. So now your girl is hot girl summer in it with no lotion. Let me show y'all what I have on and I ain't got no lotion. This. Your girl has on Daisy Dukes. Okay. Daisy Dukes. And no lotion. So we're going to have to do a Target order. That we could pick up at some point. <clears throat> I made a list. I have to. Uh, I have to do this. Ew. I have to do this. Uh, paperwork for my boyfriend real quick. Takes two seconds. And then. Um, then. I'll do the target order. And we'll jet. Okay. Y'all, I scrimped and scrumped up every bit of moisturizer I could and was able to moisturize these legs and these toes. All right, guys, I need some Starbucks. Let's go. I'm about to pay for this Starbucks. Good news in all of this is is that all the fall drinks are back. So I'm about to have an apple crisp oat milkshake and espresso even though I really shouldn't be having that at 2 p.m. but whatever look at my nose or beat up nose but yeah um, I still have several other errands to do all across town before I leave so I'm gonna try to drink this espresso so I can get the mojo to do it oh oh my god people Oh, I forgot my target order. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. 
Oh. I forgot my target order. Anywho, we're back home. So much traffic. Um, so much traffic. I went to Barnes and Noble. First of all, I went and just paid a couple of bills, but I only got to two places because the traffic was so horrible. I gave up. I did not get to Torrid, so tomorrow will have to be FedEx, Torrid, Nail Shop. Um, yeah, because I didn't get to do those things. I did swing by Barnes and Noble. You guys would be so proud of me. I was walking around. They had they had everything. So many special editions. And I only walked out with the books that I had already ordered online that I was there to pick up. So I am sticking to my budget and I'm loving life. It makes me prioritize because I saw stuff I wanted, but I was like, you're not going to read that this month. There's no point in it being in this month's budget. So I would put it down. Now this, true enough, did not need to be purchased because I doubt that I'm going to read this in September. But I might. I might. It's a close might. So this would be part two to um, A Court of Thorns and Roses, which I actually just finished this morning. And I had already bought this before I even finished the book. I already knew I wanted to go on to the second one. But I will say... If the size of this one is intimidating and you know you just don't have it in you, it's 626 pages, you can stop at the first one. It ends in a place where you're okay to stop there if, if your limit is 400 something pages. So yeah, this one is, what I say, 626. The next one behind this is a novella. It's like 100 pages. Then the next one after that is, it's a thicky. It's like, 800 pages or something like that so we shall see and when I got here I had some Amazon packages hopefully it's the things that I need for the concert okay yes so um I bought another one of those braid ponytails because child I wore that thing out I filmed videos I took it to Memphis I took it to Mississippi I wore it out I wore it to restaurants girl and it was a big tangled mess I left it in the hotel upon leaving and heading home left it in the trash can and I just bought me a fresh one for the concert I probably will not put this in literally until right before the concert um, and what else do we have here? Oh, okay. Well, this is one of my September budget books. Um, The Serpent and the Wings of the Night. I had no intention on buying this except for I found the second book, Special Edition. And I got that in my September, like, thing. So I was like, well, you can't get the second one. If you're not going to get the first. And they're about to pull all these off the shelf. Because she is now with a bigger publisher. And they want to redo the cover. And whenever they do all that they pull. When whoever has the last copies. They sell them. They don't restock them. So it could potentially be six months or so. Before this was available again. And I knew that I was going to read it before then. So I went ahead and upped it. And took some other things out of my carts. So pretty has illustration i'll show you its sister um its sister is being shipped so no plans to read this anytime soon like i said i'm gonna start telling you guys what the books are about when i show you that i'm reading it otherwise you're not gonna remember you know what I mean? unless you have a super memory then i have another box here no idea what this is Let's see. Oh. Well. There you go. 
Okay, this is Legends in Latte. Um, this is what the new cover looks like. It has them on the front. I'm all for cartoon covers, but I just really liked the simplicity of this one. This is a um, YA, like young adult fantasy. So it's supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be good. I mainly was just happy that I found the original cover and not like the new, hey, we're big publishers now copy. So, um, but yeah, the other cover is that exact one. I had no idea it was on the inside, but I like this one better. So this was in my Amazon cart. It was 20 bucks. So I just pulled the trigger because I saw they were going fast. And once these go, like they don't restock them. So my hand was forced. Like I said, all of that was supposed to come in September, but it's still a part of the September budget. So um, 20, this was 13, cause Amazon is known for cheap books, baby. Okay, so 33. And then I got this one on sale for 13. So 46 and my budget for September is, I said 100, so your girl's still under, okay? See, I'm making smart choices. You know what I'm saying? Smart choices. Now let me show y'all the new little setup I did because of course I'm running out of space because I'm adding all these books and not and haven't had time to buy a bookshelf. So, oh man. So this stack is the books I just got. You guys know I showed you Credence yesterday. This is how I did the True Blood books. And I showed you guys those that I got. Um, I didn't show you guys this one because I didn't buy it. Um, they sent my sister. It's ironic because I got sent a damaged book and they sent me a free one. My sister got sent a damaged book from Book of the Month and they sent her a new one. So I gave her my copy of Stephen King Fairy Tale that had the damage. She gave me her copy of this book. Let me see. I'm trying to. This one right here. That was damaged. So, can you see? That's the damage, and that doesn't come off, which is unacceptable for a brand new book. And it's on the back, too. But as far as for me, it's fine on my shelf like that. I didn't pay for it. And. It's not that big of a deal. Now, this shelf here, I'm probably... Come on, Amber. This one, I'm probably going to figure out how to get rid of that stuff and make that a bookshelf, too. So, yeah. Because, guys, I literally... I don't think you guys get it. I hadn't even unpacked from traveling down south when I had to come home and pack to go to Chicago. I came home from Chicago like two days ago and I leave, today's Thursday, I leave Saturday for Vegas. I still have not unpacked from Mississippi or Chicago. Like, look, that is my suitcase from Mississippi. Still with clothes in it. These are my carry-ons still packed from different trips so I seriously have to get my life together and to make matters worse I did a target order had every intention on picking up the target order as I came home and I did not do it I did not pick it up I have no tissue people I have no tissue. I have a little bit of paper towel left. But who on God green earth wants to use 
child. All right, guys, it is the next day. Um, whew, I just left the nail shop. I just got my feet done. I got them painted white. I will show you guys. Um, there is a torrid in this same city that I think I'm going to go to and just make sure there's not something else. And then we'll go pick up the hat from Party City. I don't plan on staying in Torrid long. I just kind of want to do a quick little walkthrough. Make sure they don't have any accessories or anything that I can add. Even though I actually do have a bracelet in mind that I can wear. <coughs> um, but my friend just sent me the email saying that this particular arena, you can only have a clear bag. So, um, the only clear bag I have is like a frosted clear. And I don't want them saying I can't bring it in. So, I'm going to see if I can just run across one of those like completely clear bags if not then I'm definitely gonna have to wear jeans just so that I have the ability to put like my phone in my pocket you know so we'll see child we'll see the lord but all right um I just wanted to give you guys that update so I'm about to go to Tori. All right, guys, we have made it to Vegas. We're staying at Mandalay Bay. This is the view. Pretty nice. We're really close to the stadium. This is the room. Let me show you the bathroom really quick. I haven't even seen it myself. Oh, okay. Oh, toilet closet. Looks like you have a closet here. And another closet here. <laughs> Little mini desk. Hey, y'all. Hey. So, I'm doing a little soft get ready for um, the concert. It starts at 8. Um, and it's a lot of us getting dressed here. So, I just want to make sure like the main stuff is out of the way, which means I can slick my hair. I had so many like outfits planned that I were that I was gonna buy for the concert. I'll pop them in here. But then I um was traveling and I kept going back and forth like, oh Amber, you don't need to buy anything. So as an end result, I ended up not being able to order those items, which would have pretty much made my life easier. Um, so instead, I had to pick something from my closet. So as you guys know, I went to Torrid and there has to be more lights. There we go. I went to Torrid to see like if they had anything. It was so like, I don't know how these brick and mortar plus size places are going to stay open when like I guarantee you I probably could have found more online than what I found in that store and it shouldn't be like that but I saw nothing so I got this one little vest and um it's these Prada sandals that I want 
I'll insert them here. I went to, um, where did I go? South Coast Plaza, tried them on and everything. And because of the width of my foot and the size I have to get in that shoe, it left this huge gap where you could like see down that there was no toe where someone's pinky toe would normally be. So I had to give up the dream of those shoes. And then Torrid had some wide width ones that look basically the same look. So, you know, I grabbed those. I would like to wear them because I think they're cute with the pants, but they're not really matching the whole vibe. So yes, child, I am fully here still with one, two, two shoe options three different pants options and two different shirt options. So yeah, down to the wire. Then they don't allow you to bring in anything but a clear bag. And my clear bag is not, it's like a frosted clear. So I don't want to risk getting all the way to the venue and then saying, Oh, you can't come in. So I have to like create a purse from a belt that I have and um, a free clear pouch that I got from sex. Y'all gonna see. I'm gonna show y'all. <sighs> y'all gonna see. An amazing little hat from Party City. I thought it was gonna look cheap because it was from Party City, but it's like for real mirror tile cowboy hat. It looks just like Beyonce's. I said, well, <laughs> you know, they do say I'm better than Beyonce. Not in love with my outfit, but I'm not like a let me wear heels to this concert type of girl. I've never, I'm not wearing heels to your concert. Nope. They could be like, hey, Amber, this Chris Brown concert, he's going to bring you up on stage. I'm not wearing heels. Let me show y'all this hat. Look at this hat. Girl. Look at that hat. And this is my makeshift clear bag. This belt, this seals and closes. It'll hold my phone, a couple of cards, you know? So that's that. Guys, we're doing this. We are, we are doing this. Um, I will see you guys Probably once I get dressed and we'll have a little, we'll have a little discussy scush. Oh, I brought earrings. Oh. I'm about to be blinged out. I just realized it. I brought all blinged out stuff. Okay, the light is kind of bright, but this is what we're doing. This is my makeshift bag. Ponytail is in. <clears throat> hat is over there. I'm just going to carry the hat until I actually put it on.
hi peeps so we're back home um it was a smooth drive back from vegas i drive i drove going and coming back so i didn't vlog much i just was trying to get through traffic because it seemed like everybody was coming back sunday um the concert i would rate beyonce's performance and the sound and the quality of the show 10 out of 10. i mean she really did like an amazing job the audio was bomb i mean whew, good to go the only thing about the venue is i think that they're set up for how they do ubers um it's just whack and it just creates so many problems and you wait so long for an uber but anyways um but yeah the concert was amazing i had a lot of fun um i did not stay in vegas long originally it was going to be like a, a whole trip but because of all the traveling i've been doing i was just kind of ready to go home and get settled um i came home to my house sweltering hot so i'm just trying to cool everything down now of course by the way i'm currently waiting on my groceries i'm ordering groceries because i have absolutely nothing to eat this is that book that i pre-ordered that i told you guys about it was a a tiktok a tiktoker who does this skit assistant to the villain and she wrote a book and i did the pre-order so um yeah this book is normally 20 bucks i got it for like 10 or something ridiculous like that i got it from amazon amazon's not known for having the best quality this is okay but like as you can see there's like separation that's just the way that they chose to bind this book but on a shelf squares clothes like that but no it's a, such a cute cover it looks like it's gonna be funny it's like a it's like a rom-com mixed with fantasy so i looked i took a peek at the reviews and everybody said it's really good basically a woman loses her job she needs to take care of her family so she finds that this like super evil criminal villain in her uh town is actually looking for an assistant she's desperate so she um get, takes the job ends up falling for him but he just has her do all these like weird things and despicable things or whatever but despite that she's still kind of like falling for him and it's supposed to be like funny too so we'll see y'all y'all know we love a good sprayed edge book i i mean i don't know how much this cost um but it looks like it's like digitally sprayed like it's not actual like painted on the pages are just colored red from printing if that makes sense because i can kind of tell the difference between this who knows um barnes and noble one probably looks better but enough of that i'm gonna go ahead and clean out my fridge oh and i did get the repaired new version of stephen king fairy tale so because barnes and noble you was real Amazonish for that messed up copy. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna wait. Let me see. Oh, I thought the I thought the cover was on the hard part too. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna clean out my fridge, get rid of some stuff. Oh, let me show you guys because the pictures just don't do it justice. Why does my hat look just like Beyonce's? Like, they put a picture, a close-up picture of Beyonce's hat at the concert. And I was like, child, that is my hat. This is actual pieces of mirror. This hat was so freaking heavy. Okay? So freaking heavy. I definitely did not wear it the whole time. Um, I mainly held it. And then, like, you know, occasionally 
I would do what it do. But child, this thing is heavy. But I am going to keep it just like memorabilia from the concert because I didn't get a t-shirt or anything because I didn't feel like standing in the line. I may go online and get one or something. Or maybe get one from Hot Topic because they do stuff like that too. But this hat is just gorge. It's really good quality. So if you are going to the Beyonce concert, Party City, if you're interested in doing this, she is asking for people to wear silver for these last couple of shows. If you're in LA and you actually were able to get tickets to the LA show, snaps to you. It's also Beyonce's birthday. So do it big for that show. And if you want this hat, Party City, 40 bucks, curbside. You don't even have to go in. And legit, it is real mirror. And I got bumped into, I was throwing this hat in my seat. So I, when I was getting up and dancing and just so you know. But we gonna keep her in plastic. Because I can only imagine trying to get dust out of all them little pieces of glass it's not fun so. but alright guys that is it I'll see y'all y'all know I'll be back